Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mayor Lord. So let's get into some actually interesting things here. So in the last video, I was talking about, if we look at this house, how you can have two houses on one plot. So this house had the option to have two houses on one plot, and it still has the ability for us to put a farm. Uh, right now, we just don't have enough money. Now, what's interesting about this is I've been playing around with a lot of these options, and I found some interesting ways to get this. So if you kind of just go for a straight approach like this, you don't really get the option. Um, you can see that the, the two things above it are a farm or or, you know work worker plot but you don't get the option for two houses what i notice is if it has to do a lot with angling and if i go sideways like this for instance sometimes i'm more likely to get it you can see here now if i angle it like this it goes the house and then a plus one slot so this is one one lot but you can actually get it to where both of them so you can see here if i go straight i get three houses if i just go a little bit over i get two houses with two extra plots so i actually get four families in total so if I want to, I could do this and get some really large plots for farming. Um, I lost, you can see I lost it a bit there. If I go down a little bit, I get it. So it's a little finicky. I'm going to have to put some time into kind of figuring out how would you best get these plots to do what I want. So you can see here I, I get three plots and I don't get the option. So you have to size these things just exactly right to get it. That's actually a pretty good setup there. So that would be two plots with the ability to expand for two families to live on them that would be pretty cool and uh we're gonna do that actually we're gonna build out that there um our plan is to at a later point build the city but right now we have to get our basic you know people going so right now we have our wood we have a very small amount of meat coming in it would probably be to our advantage to kind of sit and think about how we want to go forward so we can do farming we can do fields um we can do flax and barley and start making bread we have to make an oven all types of stuff i think what we should probably do at this juncture is get um the berries going so let's let's take care of all the basic basic stuff so over here we have berries i'm gonna put them right here so we'll get that going and it'll be fantastic we have a few things going but now that we have wood uh, we don't really have to worry too much we have a nice little growing prosperous community here and the graphics as I said are truly amazing I have everything on ultra right now of course I am using DLSS mode and uh, it's pretty amazing except for that little clipping right there but you can even see the, the farms back and oh my god what is she doing to that fence post this is not this is not i i don't know it's just not something that's supposed to happen but you know uh that's that's freedom for you the freedom to do those weird things you can see everybody is it's really hard to walk back from what we just saw it's like really hard to act like we didn't just see that and we we, we did see it we experienced it together Anyway, so these people are taking stone down the trade route. This is, I mean, the game is so immersive. Um, it's, everyone's got their quirks, like fence lady back there. And, and all these people, they all have little things that they do. I like the way that they walk. Um, fell through the ground after I praised everything so much. There, you know, there are things like that. But for the most part, everything is really, really cool. So he's bringing wood over here to be cut eventually. Um, you know what would make a whole lot of sense? And I'm sorry that I am being a moron. Is that I should have a hitching post right here so that they can just grab that stuff right right in front of them. Cool. We're, we're doing it. That is a big tree that we should cut down there. I don't know how many logs that will make. Alright. So generic storage is full, which means we need to get a, uh, we have a basic storehouse, which is right here. Upgrade to a large storehouse. Ooh. What we need to do is get a granary. Site your granary. And I am going to site my granary actually kind of over here, which is a, not an extremely good idea, but it is the idea that I'm going with. Eventually we'll want to get a trade post and we'll want to get those things going. We'll want to accumulate as much wealth as possible so that we can start upgrading our... Those are some slow-moving birds. Sorry, I am a freaking dog in traffic right now. 
Anyway, we want to upgrade them so we can get more food going. So, uh, yeah. Right now, I made just a small area for market stalls, four of them. And they will populate market stalls. Um, so the... Let me put this in contrast. We talked about in the last video how what you have up here are families. And then this is your population. So a family will work in an industry. For instance, you see the firewood stall. I am fairly confident some of these are... Uh, you can see here is the family that is working at the firewood splitter. And they have the son. Oh, he's at home. What a dick. Um, but they'll split duties. So some of them will work in the firewood. Some would like the food stall. So they kind of just choose somebody to come out here and work in it. That's kind of interesting. All right. We got ourselves a hitch post. All right, we're going to speed this bad boy up. We got the, the blaring awesome music. We got ourselves our little rinky-dink community. And we are... We're, we're doing it. Put the construction priority up here at high. So far, we have not been attacked. Uh, I I do fear we will be. This is a lord, a lord who owns two territories right next to us. So if we want to expand, we're going to have to go south. We're realistically not anywhere near expansion. We need to get our approval up. Uh, we still have homelessness, according to it. It's rather odd, considering I did get some homes up. It must be... Uh, just a carryover. It must just not have registered yet. But I did turn the day-night cycle on. So that's that's something you have to enable. All right, cool. Yeah, we got a um, we got a house here. Some people in it. Apparently, right? Residing families. Just make sure that people aren't doing weird things. Going home. All right, yeah. And over here we have bought for two families. So there's an extra sl slot here. We're building this up for extra family room there. And there should be a well right here. So people have the capacity to get nourishment of life. And once we get a basic setup and we get to a point where I'm able to expand appropriately, I'll be putting my main city somewhere around these parts. And I have some ideas for this. Uh, a few ideas, in fact. You see, we're actually starting to kind of clear cut this forest. Which, uh, at some point, we'll have to get a forester, but there's just so much trees that I'm not entirely too concerned. But it's a beautiful land. People are, uh, well, I don't know. That lady back here, she's thinking about it. Yeah, she's not doing that weird thing she was doing before, so I appreciate that. I think we all appreciate that. Oh, man. It was weird. So... <laughs> We, we have no need for the corpse pit yet. Man, that sound really scared me. I thought we were getting raided. I don't really want to lose anybody right now. We, um, we're just not that... So, oh crap. We gotta have at least one free family to build. Um, we're, we're bringing enough food and vegetables for our people. So, once we get an extra person, we'll go that route. And we just need to facilitate... That we have a proper infrastructure for for continued growth right now that's kind of where i am but we can look at our industry we got clay furnaces we got smithy we got uh bloomeries that's all iron production malt house we got tannery and the tannery would be a good one because we do have leather coming in and dyers that's pretty cool eventually you can turn those things into a, a new uh Ooh, trading post okay here we go this is what I want. And the trading post would actually make a lot more sense being close to storages. So we'll place the trading post right here. And then the city will go here. But first we have to get our shanty town up. Trade is definitely an incredibly important thing. Everything comes down to money. It's beautiful. Alright, we're going to speed this bad boy up. Resource stolen by bandits. Crap. Oh, shit. There's the bandits. So, we can engage these guys. We have... Oh, man. They came and they took over my, my shanty town. Oh, it's a bandit camp. It's its own individual camp. So, we now have... Oh, they're all the way down here. Okay. 
So if we wanted to attack them, which we may have to, I think we have diplomatic options. But there are um, enough of them. There are enough of them that we probably could not take them. So we do need to get money so that we can raise a mercenary army. I don't really want to send my people because if they die, then uh, they can't work in my logging camps and my mines. I need I need my, my monies. So at this point, we're kind of screwed in that regard, but we'll be okay. We have food for three months, fuel for nine months. We're okay. Yeah, these things do need to be worked out. And I think I have to increase my taxes. Can be used for import or the order to treasury via tax policy. Yeah, I have to institute taxes. Cool. So we have our hitch post right here. That's a beautiful thing. Um, we still are waiting. We have to get... See, what's weird is... That's the previous is the negative six. Weird is we're, um, our people are rather negative right now. That's true. And, you know, there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Manor. We'll eventually get our manor. There's cosmetic, but they don't do anything. We'll just continue building. And we'll just continue growing. But the, I mean, the graphics in this game phenomenal and this is all done by one person which is really exceptional just um, an incredible amount of passion and detail have gone into this game and the combat will come soon I guarantee it but yes we are we're doing the best we can and cool we have a lot of planks we have an immense amount of log storage our house is doing well even with nobody in it cool and we we can limit what's stored there so that's neat all right let's put this up to high i kind of want to get a trade post we're gonna we're gonna have to figure something out that we need to buy a horse for for trading uh wagons at a later point okay doing a fantastic job but until we can get the approval rating up, uh, we can't really grow our population. Oh, that's kind of lame. I think we need to get it up over 50%. Recent 30 days. None. Okay. This actually might be a little bit easier than I'm making it for myself. Residential. So we could build a tavern. Fulfills one level of entertainment. Needs booze. Fulfills one level of faith requirement for burgage plots. Do we have the stone? Um, I think we're using the stone. Shit. Okay, so now we have a bandit camp down there, too. So we got bandits that are starting to kind of pile around, and that could become an issue for us. We are playing on a difficulty in which they will engage. So, we do need to get the population up as soon as possible so we can we can start navigating some certain aspects of the, the chain, like we need to get armors and stuff. Um, I think it would probably be wise for us to look at different things. Passive income of meat. I like this. We're going to do that. Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps. I like that. Passive food is always beneficial. Probably more of a short-term th uh, thing than a long-term thing, but this time, it is the direction I am going. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. All right, cool. Great post is coming along. Beautiful day. We have one family building everything up. I do believe um, that the stone will probably have been used in this trade post. No? 
Okay. I'm trying to think. I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a church. Because we have the capacity and this might give us what we want. So we're going to introduce Jesus. All right. That will be a higher priority. Once this is done, which it's about to be completed, we could see about procuring some more wealth. All of this is going fairly well. Let's speed this up. Cool. Trade post is done. Let's pause real quick. So we can start trading. Um, blanks. Export, import price. Establish trade route. We'll need money for that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have a lot of things that we could sell. We could sell just the materials themselves, the hides. Export hides. Desired surplus. Our desired surplus will be five. Um, we could establish trade route. I think what we'll have to do is just wait for people to kind of come. So um, commodities, all of these items are ones we can sell. Tools, for instance, aren't even used. I, re I was told that. You can't use them at all. They're just produced literally for trade. Um, everything else, though. Okay. You know, we're, we're, in a, we're in a rough patch here. I think we're also going to trade until desired surplus is reached. Sell units until the desired surplus is reached. So I say we go down to 25 on this. And we export the hell out of it. So hopefully people come to us. Um, if not... Disconnect it. Connect a building to the King's Road. Otherwise, it will not attract. Okay. So, we need to connect ourselves to the King's Road. Here we go. This is the King's Road right here. And you can see... Why? Well, that's interesting. I wonder why it's saying we're not connected. We're definitely connected to the King's Road. We uh, are literally directly connected to the King's Road. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm missing something. Who is the King's Road? Great point. Okay. Maybe what it's saying is I need to connect to another road. Now, that's kind of weird, because I'm connected to, to every road right here. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wing it for now. Yeah. You can see here is the... Cheap goods for import, good value for export. So, we got a connection right here. It could have just been... a. You know, like a basic message just saying, hey, you need to do X, Y, Z. Um, if I put a person in there, though, we're going to be kind of screwed. And we're going to need a horse. Replacing an order of livestock merchant will come to town. Okay. Alright, I think that we're actually hooked up. So, I'm just going to go with it. The treasury is empty. Nope. Neric storage. Uh, granary will be definitely... Oh, the granary is the one that had the stone involved in it. That's right. Um... I know this sounds crazy. I'm going to get rid of the granary. Because I want that stone to get the church up. So that I can attract more families. Then I can go mine. I can uh, mine stone. Maybe. There we go. We got our resources back. watch those damn bandits though man gotta be careful 
quite a bit of them. All right, we just got four shekels, so our trade is definitely working. Definitely connected, so that was just a unfortunate message, apparently. Cool. We will get this godly church up, and we will be fine. All right, so we have four. Four beautiful shekels. And I feel like our food really sucks right now. I think I need to continue to... Purchase vegetable farms. Another thing that we need to do is definitely get the stone cutters camp. We could also just uh, purchase stone, but that may take an amount of time, which is just absurd. Stone deposit. That's interesting that it says the stone deposits right here. Uh, you gotta zoom in a little bit close, I see. that to eventually get stone. Oof, they're stealing my stuff. Alright, so they just steal stuff. They're kind of like passive. I think I just have to go down there and destroy them. But we're just gonna kind of have to deal with it. Uh, our food sucks right now. And we're, we're working on that. Bit rough. Alright, where is stone? We got ten stone. They're just they're just taking their their mambla pambla time. We have one unassigned group. Ah, so that's the problem. Is that um, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do some tactical stuff here. We're gonna unassign some of the families. Some of them are transporting things, and uh, others are building. So if we do this, we can get stuff quickly built up, and then we'll just reassign them after we're done. Winter is approaching. Shit. This is going to be rough. Okay, winter is approaching, and we are shit out of luck. We're going to say no to the... Oh, wow, you can add an herb garden. That's really cool. We're going to say no to wood for now, and we're just going to focus on food. Getting this church up. Oh, why did it stop like that? Does that mean the bandits have been sighted? <laughs> I had... I have the setting so that bandits, um, if we're attacked, it will slow down. Maybe I did it. Alright, we're getting close. They were so close to being done with that, they just need one piece of stone. Alright, I think we're in good shape now, though. The only thing I want is the woodcutter lodge, making firewood, which he is. Perfect. Berry man. Cool. We're doing two people on berries to make sure we collect a lot of berries. Alright. So. That, that was amazing. Okay. Put one family in the church and see if we can get the approval. Church level plus one, plus two. There we go. We're getting it getting it going. Unassigned families are needed for construction work. That's fine. We're just going to leave leave that alone for now. Right now, I'm just trying to get the approval rating up so I can attract more families. And um, we desperately need more shekels, though. So I think what we need to do is put more stuff up for sale. Nothing that we want. Oof, we've already sold almost all of our hides. We we didn't make much money off selling hides, did we? Sell the spears, <laughs> make a fortune. Yeah, we're we're in rough shape. We're in rough shape. Once I hit over fifty percent, though, I think I can get one family per month. Newer snake companies available. Oof. Right, 
Once the cold hits, those berries are going to go away. Alright, we have food for 12 months. So, uh, forager's gone. And let's get the stone construction up. And we can get some stone and we'll make a granary. I know I'm not doing too fantastic, are I? Now we're going to forget the wood for now, except for firewood. Church level, market food variety. I keep saying previously homelessness negative six, and I really despise that. Nice. Level two, generate one regional gold per family per month. So if we can get clothing production, we can upgrade this and get some passive money that way too. Um, we definitely need it, don't we? Alright. These guys are almost built. Getting the church was definitely a smart choice. Yeah, they don't really want much. They just want clothing. Market leather. So we could... We could actually remedy this situation right here. Just doing a leather maker. And just having someone do leather for a bit. I don't see any problem with that. We'll just, you know, build it. We have enough resources. So that's fantastic. Got two families building. Very cool. Family without assignments will work on constructions, including guiding an ox to transport wood. Cool. Our shanty town is coming together. Getting sophisticated. Beautiful. Shit. Oh, no. I still have my meat. Yeah, we're gonna have to um, deal with the bandits, but I really do not want to lose any of the men. I think we'll have to... Uh, we can talk to them, outlaws. And we can say it's a pleasure to meet you. We can try to reason with them. Alright. We'll try to... Uh, try to make friends with them. If possible. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit of stone cutting going. And then that way we can get the granary up. So that our food's not so exposed. But we're, we're making it. We're surviving. 52%. We're going to track families now. So you can see it's green. You get over 75%. You can track, I believe, two families per month. So church level plus four. Market food variety plus three. So the berries and meat combination and church all got us to where we need to be. Beautiful. So we should... We should see some people moving in. And that's going to allow us to expand. Nice. Got ourselves a good thing going. We were able to collect quite a bit of berries. You can see the pantry is full of berries right now. Alright. Eric. Wow, we're really getting... That was a lot faster than I anticipated it for the stone. We're definitely, um, we're definitely growing fast. We just need the population now. So what we want to do next, for sure, is try to get trade a little bit more ramped up. I feel like, you know, money is everything in, in a game like this. For mercenaries and all that stuff. So, um, we're going to site our granary. And I think I'm going to site it right here for now. Your granary. And we can definitely... So we built these so that we could upgrade uh, extra living space. We're going to do. Alright. We have plenty of space. We just need the people to come in. We're going to go times 12 mode now. I love that it has times 12 mode. Times four and times twelve. It's awesome.
All right. Don't cut us. Mining pit. Iron ore. Clay. Very good. Storage is full. All right. Um, new mercenaries. I'm actually going to cut out the stone cutter because we're full and we don't exactly need it. I'm going to go back to logging. Very cool. Yeah, we need raw lumber. We're getting lows on the lumber. We got timber, planks. No, we're not. We're great. Okay. Logging camp is going again. Storehouse is good. Hunting camp's good. I wonder if the passive is actually even working. And then we have a leather. We have a granary. Oh, we have the tannery. Cool. So we're going to start producing clothing. And once we get a stall for the clothing, that will allow us to upgrade to tier two. Okay. We needed more families. Oh, we went down again. Why does it keep saying home? Like it keeps throwing that homelessness in that. I think they'll probably patch a lot of this stuff, but this is like kind of a buggy kind of thing to me. Um, woodcutter. How much firewood do we have? 18 months. Okay. Gonna cut him out. We'll need to watch that pretty religiously. Um, but let's keep trying to get some families to come in. But that sucks because we were, we were right in the cusp. Oh, it's the food variety that we lost. Here we go. Pick up 50%. Need to get above 50%. We'll get there. I love the dirt everything the textures are just so good cool clothing stall so we need um it looks like we just need the wood we need timber i'm a little freaked out though because it's like saying that we don't have the requirements ah it hasn't uh, recognized there we go, we got two. So we just have to find one that was buying it. There we go. Upgrade to tier two. There we go. Passive shekels. This will this will revolutionize everything for us. Expand living space. Perfect. Passive shekelage. Boom. Boom. That's what I was saying. I can just make the leather and then I can turn it off once I get everybody up. But it does actually make them happy because they have clo- You can see, um, market- Market food variety, I think, is including the leather. But it's not the food, it's just market variety. I think that might be, uh, a typo. Cool. Yeah, we definitely need everything. Granary's almost done. Oh shit! Family mem family member, family members join one of the settlements. Very cool. Generic storage full. That's fine. Those goods. Stone just sitting on the ground. That's fine too. Nice fuel, food, clothing. This one just doesn't have access to anything really. These guys though are amazing. So let's keep it going. Fuel 18 months, food 19 or 9 months. That's great. Nice. Two tier housing. Tier two. That look pretty dope. So now we can build. Wow, let's pause real quick. We can do a tailor's. Enables clothes and cloaks. Converts all inhabitants to artisans. Shoes. Now we can go into um, making weapons. Bakery extension produces bread from flowers, so we don't have to have a thing for it. Ooh, I like that. Making bows. Oh, you know I love bows. 
We're doing it. We're gonna make some freaking bows, man. Passive bow production? Yeah. Let's get our military going. That's what I like to see. I agree singing people. This is pretty awesome. Background music's kind of funny. Farm is not met. This plot is causing a negative. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I guess, right? Balancing out these families, though, is definitely difficult. Alright, we'll get there. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Ugh. Bandits. Yeah, but look at that. We're, we're getting everything up. Tier 2. This has room for two, uh, two families. And they're both making bows, so that's going to be pretty crazy. We're going to start mass producing bows. We can start selling bows, in fact. New development. Cool. Let's see what we can do here. We do orchards, heavy plows, uh, foreign supplies, a permanent market stall which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. New building food cart, a permanent market stall which provides passive income of bread as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay transport fee, must be placed in the marketplace. That's pretty cool. New trade route. Um, Cool, and then to level up, we just need to go down that route. Charcoal burning. One firewood into charcoal. These are all really cool. Doubles the capacity of all berry deposits. That's pretty decent. Advanced skidding doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers from from goat pens. Uh, yeah. That's a no-brainer right there. That, uh, more food? Okay. And goats. <sighs> Their approval fell down, so they they land they uh they want tavern supply. Oh no no I see. Interesting. Not enough fuel, huh? Oh, it's because I don't have a family over here. Okay, we're gonna have to cut back on this. Yeah, we have to have a family working to to work the stall. That was a mistake on my part. Should have thought about that. I did not think. Cannery, saw pit. Yeah. We are running out of families. We're trying. We're trying. Raiders are near. Shit, where are they coming from? This is rough. This game is actually pretty hard. For me at least. I just I can't figure out why I'm not able to track it's the well it's first off it was the fuel thing. I just I need to get this approval up. So I just need to meet the, get as many of their basic needs as possible. Third type of food would really help. We have five bows. Cool. So we can hire mercenaries, but we don't have enough money. Cool. Where are my units? Alright, we're we're gonna rally the units. 
Heck yeah. Look at him go. I, I'm really glad we got bow and arrow though. I knew that would be worth it. Put the bows in the back. Put our dudes in front. Hopefully they don't shoot them. Hopefully they shoot over them. I've never shot with these guys before. But we gotta figure out where the bandits are now. Potentially nowhere. Potentially everywhere. Yeah, I jumped the gun here. But let's look at these units anyway. It's really cool. Effectiveness. Yeah, and each one of them is different looking, which I really appreciate. And we got really cool uh, fatigue. Yeah, cool. Stand your ground. Balance. Missile alert. Stand your ground. Yeah. Shoot at will. Yep. I don't like will, so you can definitely... Friendly fire mode. That's neat. Oh, nice. Instead of volley firing, they'll just shoot, shoot as they see people. Very cool. Face the winner and have your f people not abandon you, so we, we made it. Alright, where are you guys? Said to prepare. I'm ready. Yeah, we have enough for um, a bunch of people. All right, we're gonna disband for now. I was I was hoping the bandits would have attacked by now. Oh, we just got a new family. Thank God. Oh, thank you. Cool. Now we can get these guys up to tier two. We got to be really careful though. Those bandits are definitely out there. Look at that, we got passive shekel income now. So we can start really, uh, really ramping up food production here. Ooh, that was close. Nice. People live here. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna. Ooh, chickens. Yeah, chicken eggs would give us another type of food goats. Passive yield of hides. Doesn't look like they do meat, like the thing suggested, but... We should now be getting a lot more meat and be able to supply a much bigger population. Now, we'll, we'll move into farming here relatively soon. The beginning stages of this game, though, are a definitely a little rough. Oh, here we go. I'm a jerk. You got a, We got raiders near. And we got a time. It's 355. It was 360. Okay, yeah, it's ticking down. We got plenty of time. My bad. So that, what you want to do is look on the bottom left. One day I will be an expert at this game. <laughs> Today. Ready to go to church. Pray while you can. Alright. Okay. Alright, how many logs do we have? 15. Cool. I'm taking him off, and I'm putting a family over here. Go gather berries. Want to keep food up. I want to keep food variety up. I want to keep people moving in. Got enough room for ten families in total, so. And we definitely need to keep it. And I need to get the tannery back up at some point. I didn't realize I had a person in the church. I'm going to take the person out of the church. Not enough fuel, huh? Put him here. We need to keep our wood production going. Got three there. We got one in the berry, one in the hunter. Where's the other dude? That's, that's what's not making sense to me right now. Yep. Got one, two, three, four, five. We 
Here is Mr. Six. Seven. That's seven families. Interesting. Okay. Wonder if they're like set on making bows and stuff now, but we yeah, we need to keep the, the material. Fletcher shot, yeah. I think both families I think both of these families okay. So when I made this shop, I basically made them all make bows. I'm not entirely opposed to that because 339 to attack. That's not a bad trade item. It really isn't. Like, if you look at the money, they sell for quite a bit. Five of them will get me 15. And I need all the shekels I can get. So, we'll have to get a route for these, though. Gotcha. So that was an interesting little mistake that I made, slightly. Uh, we, we will get a trade route, we will get the money for it, and we'll make a bunch of money producing it. But yeah, I believe that both families are, are locked in here, and that's where those people are. But we'll get more families. We're doing pretty dang well, to be honest. And Bo's... I think I'm just going to give everyone a bow and arrow, and we're just going to annihilate these raiders when they come. Because we're, we're doing the Lord's work here. Nice. Got another family. I'm going to leave that family alone so that it can help construct. Another ruler's army was sighted. Oof. Holy cow. Okay, that's far away from us, but that's this dude, this, uh, this lord guy, so look what he's got. He's got, um, mercenaries. Light mercenary archers. I think he's moving, he's moving against the, uh, the bandit camp, potentially? I hope. Yikes, I didn't realize I had to contend with that. I need to get my money train rolling faster. We need to be able to hire mercenaries. And they are talking about capping how many mercenaries you can get so that people can't just spam them. That is something that's being discussed right now. So when release comes, uh, take everything you're seeing with a grain of salt. Okay. Alright, we have two oxen. Beautiful. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty decent now. We got multiple food venues, we got all of our wood. Finish. 324. Yeah, the raiders are pretty far away from attacking us. Look at these tier 2 houses. They're so cool. Um, I really wanted the chicken coop. I don't know if I can wait though. I, I want to get the, uh, we'll get a chicken coop on the next guy. I want to get the farms just going. I want to get the food flowing. Stole my carrots. Those bastards stole my carrots. All right, we got diseases coming in. Yeah, we're we're doing the best we can. We're gonna do better here soon. You can see that we're already really starting to grow. I would like to get the um, the leather maker back up and running. So the fuel seems to be a big big one right now. I can't keep enough firewood. I almost need to get a bigger marketplace in two families. Excess weapon storage. Okay. So. That's actually kind of interesting. We produce so many freaking bows that we have a problem now. Um, that's really cool, though. I think we have enough bows for all of our people. I could demolish this if I wanted to get those two families free. Oh man, you live and you learn. Okay, that freed up two families. It was worth it. I couldn't uh, continue to allow that mistake to haunt my, my village. I needed the free peoples. We made a bunch of bows though, enough to 
So, realistically speaking, I would actually still say that that was viable. Looks like we uh, don't have the wood. It's weird. Sometimes I think it actually might be the, the supplies sitting on the ground. We don't necessarily need it though. We have enough for eight uh, houses. So, all right, let's let's focus here. Firewood seems to be the big one. So I am gonna put a second person into the firewood, and then I'm gonna put something into uh, the tannery, so we can produce things that people like. Get our approval rating up. Get our housing up. And I want to get I want to get a plot with those uh, two extra houses. I really like them. But I think we'll just keep it simple for now. Keep it really simple. Span slowly. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of people for when the bandits attack, but I think we'll have quite a bit of men. Cool. As long as we have one person free, I think we're good. And that's so scary. Just stay away from me. Alright, they're going home. But yeah, that's definitely intimidating as heck. We're just we're just a poor dirt farmer. Fire broke out. Who knows? Yeah, we might actually lose this. That's kind of scary. We need wood. All right, as long as we can get all these guys up to tier two, we can make passive income. That will be my route next time, is just get, you know, all six up to passive income. But yeah, you can see that the uh, fuel supply, really tough. That's why I put the two families there. Hmm. Alright, wood back. Bandits are very, very far away from attacking us. We'll get these houses up. Boom. I think we'll actually be able to upgrade these houses over here pretty soon. Um, we need a variety of food. Well, that's going to do it, actually, for this Let's Play. We've gone pretty far into the, everything. And when I come back, we'll deal with the bandit raids and all that stuff. But you can see we're growing. We've kind of got it down. We're going to go into bigger food production here re relatively soon. Everyone have a good day.